Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Go Figure Customs YouTube channel. Probably my favorite part of customizing is painting. When I first started customizing, I that's what I called it. I called it painting. I tell my wife I'm going to go paint for a little bit, which was just customizing. And it's probably one of the things I get the most questions about on tips, techniques, tricks from starting to finishing. And because people like top 10 lists, I'm going to give you my top 10 tips and tricks for painting. Of course, this is all very subjective, but I guarantee some of these will help. Number one, use primer all the time, every time on every custom and use decent primer. The primer that I recommend that I use myself is Tamaya Fine Surface Primer. It's a bit expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, they do make a, just a regular surface primer. I use that too. I really don't see a lot of difference between the fine surface and the regular surface primer, but this is what I use. And don't use a cheap primer. I used to use Krylon Engine Primer, and it worked for a long time, but I eventually had it ruin a couple of big projects when it bubbled up and dried that way on the vehicle that I was working on. Number two, use acrylic paint. This is probably one that most everyone already knows, but it's still probably one of the most important ones. Uh, and if you're new to customizing, you might not have figured this out yet, but hobby paint comes in acrylic and enamel, and enamel paint does not dry fully on the softer plastics. Number three, use good paint. There are a couple brands that I stay away from, one of those being testers. I think that's one that like everybody starts off with. And I do know people that use testers and get good results with it, but I don't like it. Uh, and Apple Barrel, one of the crappy paints that you get at Walmart. Paints that I do recommend are Citadel, Games Workshop, uh, Army Painter, Paint, Vallejo, uh, Scale 75, and Tamaya. Those are really good paints, and using good paints is very important. They are more expensive, but you'll get better results with decent paints. Number four. Number four is the tip and trick to avoid what I call the melted crayon syndrome. You see a lot of customizers showing off their figures, and it looks like they've taken a crayon and just melted it to their figure because the paint is so thick. To avoid that, thin your paints out. The best way to do, one of the best ways to do that is to use a wet palette. You can buy wet palettes or you can make your own. I make my own with a sponge and some parchment paper. You will see drastic improvements in the results of your paint by thinning them out a little bit. Number five, washes. Not everything is one solid color. There's highlights and shadows. If you use washes, put them in the crevices in the sh where the shadows would be, you'll get some pretty cool results with that. A lot of paint companies make their own washes. Citadel has its, a good brand, uh, a good line of washes. Army Painter has a good line of washes as well. And you can make your own washes by thinning your paint out even further on your wet palette that we talked about just a minute ago. And number six, if washes are good for crevices and shadows, highlights can be done with dry brushing. So if you paint your figure in a medium color, wash it with a darker wash and then dry brush it with a lighter color, you will bring out all of the detail that is sculpted into your figure. Number seven is probably going to be the least popular, but it's probably the best tip I have, and that's get an airbrush. Airbrushes will let you do light coats, even coats, and the amount of time that you will save with an airbrush is phenomenal. It will also let you use those harder to work with colors like orange, white, and yellow. There is a quite a bit of a startup cost for airbrushes, and there is a bit of a learning curve, but most of what I use my airbrush for is just to lay down base coats. I don't do a lot of fancy stuff with my airbrush. 
Number eight, once you're done painting your custom, seal it. There's all kinds of different sealants on the market. You can get a brush on sealant. You can get sealant that you run through an airbrush. And like myself, I use an aerosol sealant. The one that I am very fond of is Citadel uh, Metronium Varnish. Uh, it's pretty expensive. They keep raising the price on this, but I'll tell you what, no matter what the price is on this, I will keep buying it. Sealant not only seals the paint on to your custom to prevent chipping and paint rubs. It will also help keep water slide decals from peeling off and help even out your paints. Some of the washes that I use tend, uh, tend to dry glossy and shadows should not be glossy. But once I hit it with the sealant, everything smooths out beautifully well worth the cost. Number nine, sanding joints. This is the best way to help prevent paint rubs on those joints like knees, elbows, and shoulders. You take a fine grit sandpaper and you sand it down before you do anything else to your figure, then primer it, use thin coats, and then seal it afterwards and you'll find you'll have a lot fewer paint rubs. And number 10, probably the corniest tip of them all is keep at it. Remember, the only person that has to like your custom is you. And with any skill, you only get better at it by repetition. Seek out tutorials like on YouTube here, because I've got a ton of them on my channel. Engage with other customizers. One of the things that has improved since I've started customizing is people don't gatekeep as much as they used to. Find those customizers that you like and ask them how they did it. Most of them are very willing to share their tips and techniques with you. Experiment with new paint, experiment with new techniques, and again, just keep practicing because after time, you will improve. I guarantee it. Do you have any tips and tricks for painting that I didn't touch on in this video? Throw them in the comments below. And man, sometime I might have to do a blooper reel because what a mess. And as always, please do that fun social media stuff. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.